working on this show, I'm lucky enough to stay in some amazing places in South Australia. And what does it for me time and time again is a peaceful location with a great view. And the property I'm about to show you does not disappoint. Welcome to the Pike River Luxury Villas, located just out of Lirrup in the Riverland. Perched high above the waterline, these modern hideaways are perfectly positioned to enjoy spectacular river views. Red gum, ibis and stone may all be different in colour scheme and layout, but each villa caters perfectly for a couple. Beautifully appointed, they boast king-size beds, spacious bathrooms with double basins and big showers, full gourmet kitchens, cosy couches, wood fires and all those luxury extras you may or may not expect. These villas have loads of features, like this, a window to the stars right above the bed. So once the sun's gone down outside, you can come inside and do a bit of stargazing. Yes, they've thought of just about everything, but this has to be my favourite feature. Oh yeah, this is the life. Andrew and Bronnie Kerr own this slice of paradise and find their guests fall in love with the total seclusion and peacefulness here. It's quite a unique outlook, isn't it, Andrew? It is. It's, uh, yeah, we had a presenter that came from over in Kenya and he said mm. it looks very similar to the savannah over there. Which, oh, is, right. which is what we think. We had one uh, guest that came up and she told me that she said, I walked into the door and I, and I cried. And I said, oh, that's no good. But she said, no, I cried because I just felt instantly relaxed. And I think the views that we, that we have here are so different and, and quite spectacular that it, that it does make people instantly relax. Since opening the initial three villas, the couple haven't been resting on their laurels. They've also converted the old shearing shed on the property to the wool shed, which can sleep up to 12 people. We were lucky enough to get some funding through the Riverland Sustainable Futures Fund, and we were uh, able to build two new apartment villas, which are two bedroom villas, and also to build our function centre and business centre. So whether you're here as a family, a group or a couple, for business or pleasure, there's many accommodation options. Weddings are also becoming increasingly popular. Another plus, this place is home to Australia's first privately owned solar farm. It also runs exclusively on rainwater, so it sits very lightly on the landscape. What is there to do around here? We're having trouble getting people out the door because they're, <laughs> they're wanting just to stay in and relax, but we think the region is, has just so much to offer. Obviously the river, we've got uh, some kayaks down here for people to use and, and they can go out for a light paddle, but we would encourage them to, to use our uh, canoe tour companies that are up here. They offer some fantastic dusk tours. The fact that we're in the midst of the big towns like Loxton, Bury, Renmark, we're very close to all of those towns, only within 15 minute drives. And, and it just gives people a real taste of all the different little special spots within the Riverland. So take my tip and plan to spend time here in nature's box seat. As you can see, the wildlife is just phenomenal, especially at sunrise and sunset. And what do you love about living in the Riverland? It's just a, I don't know, that river feeling of being relaxed and taking away all the stress. It just seems to be what people love and it's certainly what I love.